competition criteria, each competitor had to prepare a four-course menu for 12 people in a time span of five hours. In the judging, I was the kitchen judge here for the Global Chefs Challenge, where I was responsible for obviously looking at the mise en place, very important to hygiene, how did they work in the kitchen, and obviously how did they present and were they on time. The competition was a set menu competition where chefs had to design their own menu. The only competition criteria was that each chef had to use a selection of compulsory ingredients. Ingredients 1. Asparagus and mushrooms in the first course, providing an ovo-lacto-vegetarian starter. 2. Fresh salmon had to be used in the second course. 3. The main course had to feature lamb. 4. For the dessert, competitors were required to incorporate citrus and chocolate. Generally, I mean, the food is judged on taste, appearance, presentation, and uh, the most important part is, as we all expect, uh, is the taste, because you live most of it with the taste. Taste is 70% of the, of, the, of the whole uh, presentation, of the whole dish. In the kitchen judging is totally different because I check their mise en place, I check they don't waste too much. So there's different points on all those things. But your kitchen score is only on 30 points. So there's 70 points left for the tasting and the presentation of the... The main aim is definitely the, the taste. The second thing is the skills, of course, which kind of uh, techniques they are using, the presentation, of course, with it, and uh, the professional appearance. It's great to see young people working under this kind of pressure and what they can produce. I think it's fantastic. And they all did extremely well today, and, and I'm very proud of them. No matter where they came from, they all did extremely well. I was really, really impressed with the different countries. Obviously, you could see, as, a, as being a judge for a long time already, which participants have competed before, which ones haven't. Uh, but nevertheless, they all tried very hard. I think they were all nearly on time for serving. They worked clean. They did the ingredients, ingredients justice, and they made sure they produced a beautiful plate of food. And at the end of the day, it's participating and putting the best out what you can do, and that's being a chef. And I think they all did very well. As you know, we had two judges. We had a team of judges in the kitchen who checked out the skill level, hygiene, organization. And we had a separate panel of judges which just concentrated on the taste, presentation, portion. This briefing was essential as judges were not allowed to enter into any kind of discussion or debate once the judging had started. The way I look at judging nowadays is, is pretty much I pretend that I'm actually sitting in a restaurant and I'm getting served a plate of food. And the question that goes through my mind first is when I look at it, would I order this again? If the answer is yes, then the participant has already earned 50% of the points that he can earn. So it's based on taste foremost and then on presentation and actually how it's done. 
Yeah, I think the most important thing that chef should look at is the taste of food. So taste counts very high for me in my marking. We did not know which plate belonged to which team. It was extremely fair. Um, and we looked at presentation number one, then we looked at the composition, if the participant used all the ingredients that was prescribed in every course, and if the balance was right, and not just a little bit, just to satisfy the criteria, but if, if it was enough for, as a portion. And then obviously the most important part for us was the taste, that all the flavors need to work together. And because of all the different countries, it was very interesting, because some things um, from Namibia that I don't know which to actually do in the United Emirates, that is something different. That was very interesting. Now, of course, if what I feel is maybe not the case, like previous of my colleagues would feel the same. So this is, again, to judge something which is art. It's like judging Van Gogh. You maybe like it, I don't. I think it's, it's, it's a very, very uh, successful event and of course there's the winner is going to represent this region in Chile. I think uh, it was very, very good. Um, I personally felt that it, whoever the winner is, in my mind, has been the best chef of the day and is fit enough to represent uh, the uh, Africa Middle East region at the um, Global Chef Finals in Chile in 2010. Competitors' feedback. No competition is complete without the judges giving constructive feedback to the competitors. Feedback focuses on the total menu design, portion size, cooking methods applied, artistic presentation, and overall taste.